I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales and welcome aboard our Targa 37. This is a 2024. I've had the great opportunity to be out on the water on this boat and experience all that this 37 has to offer in terms of speed, performance, and efficiency. I'm gonna take you on a detailed walkthrough tour of this 37. She's insanely well equipped with Garmin Electronics, a massive solar array, LED lights all over the thing. We've got lithium ion batteries. It's really set up for off the grid explorer boating. So really looking forward to taking you through this boat. So let's go take a look. So coming on board the Targa 37, we have a pretty epic setup here in our showroom up in Maine. So I can just board the boat right from the bow. Pretty unique because we do have this forward bow ladder up here. And this allows you when you're uh, bowing to a beach, you can uh, actually still climb on and off the boat from the bow. Starting up here on the bow, we do have a Lumar stainless steel windlass. We've got our fresh and salt water wash downs as well as the toggle switch for our anchor windlass. This compartment right here is where we've got our anchor road and we have quite a bit of storage in there too. So I can store hoses and fittings for those and whatever I want. You have seen it in some of our other Targa walkthroughs, but also of note is these high handrails and the gunnels. So I'm really protected up here. I'm not worried about kids and dogs and whatnot. There's a great feature there and something that I really like about the 37 and all the Targa models. Uh, moving aft, we've got our cabin top here. Um, this is all a non-skid finish. You could have a sun pad here um, and we do have our handrails. We've got all powder coated finishes here on the Targa 37. We've, instead of the stainless, we've done black powder coated, which really gives it more military look, which I'm a huge fan of. And up here on the hard top, we've got a few things of note. So we've got a lot of LED lighting. So over here, right by me, I've got a work light. So I've got a work light forward up here on the bow and one aft. And those are just for when I'm working up here on the bow, accessing the anchor. I can do the same thing on the aft deck. It basically works like a floodlight. Then aft, I've got my light bar here, as well as these big Vision X LED lights. So these are really lighting up a whole marina as I'm coming in. I can just light everything up. And then I've got my directional uh, searchlight over here. So that goes pans left and right and tilts up and down. So if I'm searching for a marker buoy or something as I'm coming into a harbor, I can uh, use that. So we've got all different types of lights up here. And of course I've got my nav lights and my running lights, but really kind of epic setup and gives it that sort of military workboat look. I have a bunch of solar panels on the 37. We've kitted this thing out. So anchoring and pulling up to a mooring for extended periods of time is totally doable. Pretty epic solar panel setup. So uh, let's move to the aft cockpit. And again, with this, the safety uh, that I mentioned before, I've got handrails everywhere. Nice wide walk arounds here on the 37 and easy to get on and off the boat. I've got this break in the handrails here with a step so I can hop right up and over the side of the boat if I need to hop onto the dock for, for some reason. While we're moving back, I've got my fresh water fill right here. Really nice to have this at a higher level. Um, and then my diesel fuel fill is right here in this little depression. And you know, walking aft, you'll see how wide these walk arounds are. I don't really need to shimmy down the side like you might on another boat. Love these teak handrails and we've extended them. We've got a little bit wider um, back here. So as you're sitting on these LCTs, you can have a glass of wine or a cup of some sort without it just being a small little handrail. So functional as well as really attractive. So I'm sitting on this port side Elsa T. We've got one to starboard and then there's one aft facing forward. There's storage under all these, really easy to access here. My shore power cord is in there. Underneath these cushions, we've got the uh, Flexi Teak. So you don't need to have the cushions out here, but um, they do dress the boat up quite a bit. So big fan of that. I've got all Flexi Teak decks throughout the whole boat. And then forward here on this, it's not just storage. We have this great fridge and freezer. So this is the cold plate. This can be um, whatever type of cooling you want. And Target does quite a bit of those on their boats. We've seen them in the forward locker. We did that on our 32. For extended cruising, we you need more 
refrigeration and freezer space. So that really checks the box for us. And this LCT and that are just storage as well. So back here we have two more uh, freshwater and saltwater outlet. So both at the bow and at the stern here, we can have fresh or saltwater wash down. I've got the fuel fill for my aft diesel tank is right here. And then back all the way on the transom here is my wastewater outlet for pump outs. And then right next to that, I've got a hot and cold cockpit shower. And before we go inside, let's take a look at the swim platform. Back here, we've got this huge area. We've extended the swim platform on this 37 to allow enough room for a full tender back here. Um, you can have a pretty oversized dinghy on this boat for sure. We've got a swim ladder right here on the port side. This is my access hatch so I can get in to clear any debris or you know, lobster pot from my stern drives. And then I've got my fender storage here on the starboard side. And over here on port is our uh, propane. And we'll see when we get into the galley, we've got a propane stove and propane oven on this boat. So this is where that propane tank lives. And we've got these great gates here. So kind of the overall theme that I started with up on the bow is, you know, safety and keeping the kids and the dogs. The, the Targa is an excellent boat for, you know, folks with young kids and whatnot. So we want to make sure they're not tumbling into the water back here. So I can close this up really easily and protect, you know, everything is inside the boat. I'm not worried about some, somebody making a mistake, you know, kid, uh, accidentally wandering onto the swim platform here. So really easy to open and close that. Just has a nice little depression here. You can open those up and get in and out of the cockpit. So when the boat's at anchor and we're in swimming mode, we can just open these up and people on and off, it's great. And then when we're underway, I wanna latch those up. So now let's take a look inside at the interior. So coming into the pilot house, Warm woods, all this teak is awesome. And it's also bright and airy. We've got windows all around. I've got a beautiful U-shaped settee here to port. And sitting down on this, you can sort of see how big it is. So me here at the end, I've got this folding uh, leaf table here, but also when I've got it folded back, it's got the fiddles on it. So I can put my iPhone in there underway or you know whatever, uh, a cup of coffee or something without worrying about that spilling overboard. So picturing myself, I'm here, one more, two, three, four, and then five, six, we've got this reversing pilot seat here. So you, know, you can really sit five or six quite comfortably here on the Targa 37, and that's not including any sort of stools that you would have out here on the side. So pretty decent dining space for a 37 foot boat. Obviously you're not gonna be having Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, you could, I guess, but not exactly set up for that. But you know, obviously lunches and whatnot is pretty easy to have here on the 37. Speaking of cooking right here in the galley to starboard, I've got a dual burner propane cooktop all set up right there. We've got a Dometic vent fan, um, some storage up above. It's a nice deep storage area up there. So and you could put pots and pans if you wanted to. I've got a stainless steel single basin sink here with the fresh hot and cold water. And then I do have a salt water hookup here too. And that's so I can uh, not waste all my fresh water when I'm just rinsing off. I can rinse off a plate, rinse off my silverware with the salt water. And when it's actually time to use soap and water and clean it, I can do that with the fresh, but I don't have to waste it all. And right down below here, I've got a Really nice stainless steel propane oven. Great unit there. Just below that, I have more deep storage for pots and pans. And just forward of that, we have the isotherm stainless steel refrigerator. So this coupled with the fridge freezer in the aft cockpit, we've got plenty of cooling on this boat. And just aft of me here, got a nice big storage locker and two drawers and another locker. There's tons of storage on these Targas. It is really something that if you're looking to spend longer periods of time out on the water, you know, a week at a time, 10 days, two weeks, or longer, it's actually possible on a boat of this size because of the storage, because of our 
cooling capacity with the extra fridges on board. It's truly a boat that you can explore uh, much further afield than maybe you're used to on a boat under 40 feet. Continuing on here, we've got a flat panel TV. Pops up really nicely right there. Just outboard of that, I have 110 volt outlet, 12 volt charging there. We've done the 12 volt fans throughout this boat, so we can run those off of battery power and those are in both staterooms. And of course here in the pilot house, so nice to have some fresh air moving around in here. As far as the systems are concerned on the boat, I do have all of my battery switches are right here, right when I walk in. Just after those, I have my light switches, so I can turn on and off pretty much all the lights in the pilot house in the cockpit right here. Hang my jacket right here. I've got my service battery, both engines, the uh, parallel switch generator, and the bow thruster and anchor windlass battery. Well, those are all set up. I've got my Victron charging uh, right here so I can see where my batteries are at, what's going on. And then the control for the inverter charger. Just inside of that is the Fisher Panda generator control. And then my Dometic air conditioning control and the diesel heater. And then just forward of that is my Fireboy fire suppression system. So we've got a whole bunch of things right here up above and easy to access right when I come into the boat. I can turn on my batteries, see where I'm at on the charge, start the generator, flip on the air conditioning without having to go to the helm and mess around all throughout the boat, turning on different things. It's all right here, easy, easy to see. Let's go take a look at the helm a little forward. We've got an awesome helm layout here really happy with this. So we've got the dual Garmin displays, touchscreen displays there. I've got dual Volvo Penta displays up top. So those, all my engine data is up there. These also are just Garmin displays. So they double as uh, charts or depth sounders, whatever I want those to be. I've got a tri data display here. The Garmin setup is well, the full package autopilot down here. I also have an autopilot remote on the boat, which is really helpful. Uh, for longer trips. I've got my joystick docking here, which I'll go into a little bit in a second. My Volvo throttles, steering wheel, side power, progressive bow thruster, the windshield wipers, and we've got the zip wake interceptor trim tabs. All of our switching is right here. And then we've got uh, eight switches up here, up above. So um, my seawater pump, deck wash down, engine room fans, refrigerator and the um, macerator overboard discharge. And then down here are all the stuff I'll need underway. So the horn, all of those fancy LED lights I showed you up on the hard top, the window defroster, all types of different systems right here. But anything I need underway down here in the helm, all the system stuff here and house uh, side of things is up top. Also have my search light control down here and then um, the bus heater down there, the, the boat has a, a bus heater on it. So it uses, the engines will actually not only heat the water for the hot water for taking a shower and whatnot, but it also will actually heat the pilot house and the, and the staterooms. So really clever feature here. I've got some outlets, cup holder, and then some storage here. In the top of the hatch to down below, I've got some really nice, easily accessed um, storage here. And then a chart table uh, over here all the way to port. And I've put my gauge covers in there for now. And over here on the co-pilot side, I have pretty much just a bunch more storage. I've got a great spot for my manuals, which we've got right in here. A nice deep sort of a file storage there. Drawers for my uh, Targa branded mugs and plates. Really nice spot for all that here easy to access all this. Um, it's nice to have the manuals close to the helm when something uh, you want to look something up to be able to pull that out and use those. And just forward here, I've got some Targa branded cutlery and just nice systems access. There's my trash right there. Good access to everything. I can take this seat, move it this way for when people are sitting at the dining table and I can move it back and sit down. And then we've got this nice uh, foot rest here for underway. Really comfortable spot to be, got great visibility. Just really nice setup here. When we look at the windows, we have these shades, these solar shades that come down and really block the sun, but I can see out, um, but it really does a nice job of blocking 
when you're at the dock in the nighttime, you can close those and it works like window shades, really, um, really reflect the light, and keep the heat off of the cockpit here. But of course, underway, a lot of times we want some ventilation. I've got the two side opening doors here. You can see those, they lock really easily here. Just a very positive latch there. I do have a solar screen for that. Oh, I do have a solar screen for that side door. And then I've also got this humongous sunroof. This is one of the best parts of the 37 and one of the best parts about not getting a flybridge. I understand the flybridge is a great place to be underway. I'm a huge fan, but having this sunroof is pretty incredible. So really helps to brighten up this space in here and also give us some fresh air underway. I do have, uh, this side is a sunscreen and on the other side here, we've got a bug screen. So I can have that open, drop down the table there, sleep up here in the pilot house. It's a great place to be. They're just held in by magnets. It's a really easy system. Uh, let's head down below into the primary stateroom. So in the forward stateroom, we've got this big island berth. It's offset to starboard, but really, really nice sleeping area. Uh, this is what we call the comfort forward cabin from Targa. So there's a lot more headroom down here. Really good standing space. I've got great storage. So I've got, there's a mirror right here, but it's got a hanging locker. I've got two drawers down below, uh, more storage right here. This goes quite a ways outboard. And outboard here on the port side, I've got great storage, really deep as well. Just above, I've got the uh, opening port for fresh air, another 12 volt fan. Uh, right over the berth here, I've got a nice uh, opening uh, hatch, another window port to starboard, a little hanging over here. And then just forward of the berth, I have the head. So I've got a toilet and a sink. The bigger head is actually in the aft cabin. Um, but this is a nice uh, setup here. And let's head down into the aft stateroom. Back here in the aft stateroom, I've got a great little setup here, especially for kids. So I've got a full size berth here to port, can easily sleep two adults here. And then I've got an oversized single. So if you have an infant or a young kid that you don't really wanna leave them alone in their own room, you know, the parents can sleep here on this side and have your kid on the other side and you actually have a decent amount of privacy here with the little um, protection here. So um, I've got some charging outlets, uh, reading lights. The, this is a really nice uh, warm space. It's, it's not humongous by any stretch of the imagination, but it's, it's a good size and it's, it's totally usable. So these berths have plenty of headroom. I'm not claustrophobic when I lay down here. Got a nice storage up above, but totally a doable uh, set up here plenty of room for two people on this side and easily can sleep an adult on the other side as well and then just forward of the berth here we have uh, the larger of the two heads so this head has a toilet nice sink it does have a real stall shower in here as well as a picture frame mirror so pretty good setup on board the uh, target 37 as far as having two staterooms two heads a stall shower and you're sleeping five people in berths and you can sleep another two if you drop down the table in the salon. So not that you'd ever really wanna do that, but it is possible. So now that you've seen the layout of this Targa 37, I wanted to talk a little bit about the usability and how easy it is to maneuver this boat. The key to the Targas is the side walk arounds with the side access doors. This is the simplest boat to maneuver single-handed or shorthanded. So if I've got a bunch of kids and you know an inexperienced partner out on the water or you know 10 friends, I want to be able to control the boat all by myself without having to ask for help or use a mate. So I've got my joystick docking here, side access door, my cleat is just after me here for midship cleat, and that's all I need. I can maneuver the boat to the dock. I can stand half in, half out. If it's cold out, I don't have any problem with docking the boat. But these side access doors just make life so easy 
for me as I'm coming into the dock. I can move the boat sideways with the joystick. I've got access with the thruster here, but really, I mean, I can drive the boat like this with one hand out the, out the window. My side access step is right here with the brake and the handrails and my midship cleat so I can tie up that lobster line, dock the boat single-handed. And that's just this helm station. I've got another one back aft that we'll go back there and take a peek. I've got this aft steering station. So if I'm docking starboard side two, I could be at the main helm. If I'm docking port side two or backing into a slip, I'm back here. Super easy to take control from this helm station. Look, I'm right here, right over the side. I flip over this handrail. I can hop right onto my floating dock. It's just so easy. So picture two or three rugrats running around inside and you know I can just shut the door and dock the boat I don't need help so I pull in right here I can you know see have great visibility here as I'm docking uh, backing into a slip and if I'm departing a slip and coming out I can come out of the slip I can see the whole boat just by looking through the window here so as I get out of the slip I've moved away from the dock I can actually look forward and drive the boat from back here down the fairway. Obviously not where I wanna be doing all of my cruising from back here, but it's simple. These walk arounds and the access on this boat is just incredible. It allows me to run the boat short-handed and single-handed. And not only that, forget the kids. If I wanna take the boat out by myself and you know spend an hour out on the water, I don't have any problem or any nervousness doing that on the Targa. The joystick docking, the thruster just make life so easy. And that's what boating's about. You wanna have fun. You don't wanna be stressed and worried about bringing the boat into the dock. So the design and the ethos behind the Targa is what allows us to do that. And before we wrap up, we'll take a look at the mechanical space, which is a favorite of mine. Really easy access here in the aft cockpit. These two hatches just open right up. I've got tables and chairs mounted here on the underside. Uh, of our engine hatch, really awesome use of space. Target does it better than anybody else in that regard. I've got my battery set up. We've got a full lithium bank on this Targa 37. That coupled with the solar panels, we've got tremendous off the grid power here. We've got a 5KW Fisher Panda generator. Our spare propellers, we don't wanna waste any of our short season uh, up here in the Northeast. So if we nick a prop, I don't wanna have to uh, wait for more to come in. I can just pull into the closest marina and change those out. So we've done the Volvo Penta D6 440 horse diesel engines on this boat. They're attached to the DPI stern drives from Volvo. Really awesome technology, taking a lot of the cone clutch system from their IPS drives and turning it into the stern drives. Very efficient. Cruising speed on these at 80% load is 35 knots, which is ridiculously fast. Drop it down a little bit to 30 knots. At 30 knots, you've got a 400 nautical mile range. Um, if you do have, you know, the weather and the ability to cruise a little faster, that 35 knots gives you a 350 nautical mile range. It's an insane amount of distance you can cover on the Targa 37. Really amazing to be able to explore really far afield. I mean, 400 nautical miles is from Portland, Maine to Cape May, New Jersey. So just wild to be able to do that all in one shot and at that speed. So kind of have expedition yacht range with, you know, a lot faster boat. So really impressed with the way this boat performs. Again, our systems layouts, uh, if you've seen any of our other Targa videos, really, really nice access. This is my Victron inverter charger. I've got the Kallenberg air horn with the compressor here. We like a nice loud horn. Engine room fans. Um, I've got my steering solenoids back there. Galvanic isolator. And over here on the other side, you've already seen the uh, propeller mount and the 5KW generator. We've got a bunch of pumps back here. I've got a uh, Alpha Laval fuel polishing system. All of our, my freshwater pumps and uh, saltwater pumps are located back here, as well as the refrigeration compressor right there. Air conditioning feed pump, uh, an air conditioner, sort of the full setup here, and a really nice, clean, easy bilge to work in. So really happy with this space. You know, I end up being the guy that drives these and has to fix things. So it's pretty nice to get at everything nice and easy. If you have any questions about this Targa 37, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is right below the video.